cinnamon bell. let's see what's happening to Judy and Jimmy and the cinnamon bear. We left them at the bottom of Looking Glass Valley where their airplane was forced down after Weary Willie, the stork, punched a hole in the fuel tank and gulped all the soda pop gas. If you remember, this made them very sad, especially because Weary Willie threatened to tell the crazy quilt dragon that they were chasing him. And they were even sadder when Cinnamon Bear told them there was no way to get out of the valley. (laughs) I just know we'll never get the silver star back from Crazy Quilt. And if we don't have it to put on top of our Christmas tree... Look, Cinnamon Bear, aren't there tools or something in the plane that we could use, you know, to cut steps in the sides of the valley like the alpine mountain climbers do in ice? I thought of that, Jimmy, but this looking glass is very, very hard and it won't crack no matter what. I guess there's only one thing for us to do, children. What's that? Wait until it rains. But I don't see what that will do to help us get out of here, Cinnamon Bear. That's just because you've never been in maybe land before. You see, when it rains here, it rains soda pop. I see what you mean. Then we'd be able to fill up the airplane and fly out just the way we came in. Exactly. But when is it going to rain? Oh, me, oh, my. That's something I didn't think about. It might rain tomorrow, and again, it might not rain until the next 4th of September. Well, we can't wait around for a soda pop rainstorm. I wish I knew something magic to say that would just scoot us right to the top of that cliff. Look, Cinnamon Bear, here comes Weary Willie, that bad old store. So it is. And I must say he has a nerve coming back after drinking up all our soda pop gas. As soon as he gets close enough to hear me, I'm sure going to tell him a thing or two. Oh, don't do that, Jimmy. I have a better idea. He's an awfully conceited person, and if we flatter him a bit... Maybe he'll feel ashamed of himself and help us get out of here. Hello, below. I'd like to punch him in the beak. Don't talk too loud, Jimmy. Remember what Cinnamon Bear said? Yeah, we must be very, very polite. I say, hello, below. I'm sorry we haven't any more soda pop, Weary Willie. Both for your sakes and ours. We're stuck here and we can't get out. By Jove, I'm deucedly unhappy to hear that, old man. In fact, I'm rather saddish to think that I was instrumental in causing your downfall. But I was confoundedly thirsty, you know, and when I'm thirsty, it brings out all the primitive in me. I don't exactly know what you mean, Mr. Stork, but whatever it is, I hope you feel better now. Oh, I feel ripping, absolutely ripping. In fact, I feel so ripping that I should like nothing better at the moment than a good rousing game of ping pong. Are any of you ping pong minded? No, we don't feel like it at all. Besides, we don't have anything to play it with. Oh, so we don't. It's just as well, too, because I'm a bit sloppish at ping-pong anyhow. For some reason, I always ping when I should pong and vice versa. Well, Mr. Stork, I suppose you did what you said you would and told that crazy quilt dragon that we were chasing him to get the silver star back. By Jove, I did. I've such a beastly rotten temper at times. I was provoked because you wouldn't give me a lift. I just went stork mad for a moment, but I'm terrifically sorry, really. You've no idea how sorry. Lot of good that does us now, Weary Willie. I have it. I'll fly you out of Looking Glass Valley. That'll be grand of you, won't it, children? You bet. Let's go. Very well, then. Uh, how will we manage it? Let me see now. Uh, 
Do you think we could all get on your back? Oh, of course. I have a strapping physique, you know. Played rugby and all that. Oh, yes. I can carry all three of you without batting an eye. Well, let's hurry, please. By all means, by all means. Shan't delay a jot longer. Now, uh, I'll kneel me down and uh, you may all ascend. You go first, Judy. All right. I'm on. And now you, Jimmy. Okay. There. All set. Now me. All aboard, Patio Cinnamon. All aboard, Willie. Then hold on tight. The hop up to the top of the cliff will be most grueling for me. I'll have to exert every last ounce of my marvelous strength. Uh, are you ready, my friends? Ready. Then we're off. Pip, pip. Whee! Isn't this wonderful? Gee, we're climbing way up to the top. We've made it. Congratulations, Willie. Oh, don't mention it. It was nothing, nothing. Thank goodness we got out of that valley. Can you see the crazy quilt dragging anywhere, Judy or Jimmy? No, I can't. I guess he got tired of looking at himself in Looking Glass Valley and went someplace else. Oh, dear. Where do you suppose he went? Oh, according to my recollection of Crazy Quilt's habits, uh, he's apt to be taking a siesta at this hour. What does he mean, Jimmy? I don't exactly know, but I'll bet Cinnamon Bear does. He means that about this time every day, Crazy Quilt generally takes a nap. right -o. And if I may enlarge upon my statement, he frequently takes his siesta in the vicinity of the Root Beer Ocean. Could you take us there, Willie? Will, will oh, it would give me untold joy to do so, my friend. I feel it incumbent upon me to make amends for my caddish conduct this afternoon. How would you like to have me fly this time, fast or slow? Oh, fast, Mr. Stork. As fast as you can. We've just got to catch up with Crazy Quill. Right, too. Here we go. Pip, pip. <laughs> When you fly fast, you really fly fast, don't you, Willie? Oh, but definitely. Some call me the streamlined stork. And you sure brought us to the right spot, Mr. Stork. There's Crazy Quilt right over there. And he's sound asleep. And look, he's got the silver star right under his nose. Aha, the villain has been brought to bay. We'll just hand him the surprise of his life. Uh, 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 pardon me, my friends, uh, but uh, may I be of any further service? No, thank you, Willie. It's been most kind of you to carry us here. You were wonderful, Mr. Stork. Thanks a million. Oh, not at all. After my unmitigated thirst caused you to make a forced landing in an inaccessible locality, it was little enough for me to make amends in the small manner in which I have. And, and it was course... very big of you. And as a final favor, will you allow me the pleasure of sending you an autographed copy of my latest travel book? It's bound in purple alligator skin, printed on... I'll be thrilled to death. Just send it to Palio Cinnamon, General Delivery, Wintergreen Forest. Oh, but I didn't finish telling you Thanks a lot, it. Willie. You've been a brick. Oh, yes, uh, so I have. Uh, well, I must pop along now, my dear friends, and I wish you success in your endeavor. Goodbye. Bye. Pip, pip. So long, Willie. Well, that's over. He sure talked a blue streak. Yeah, but he turned out to be a big help after all. Now let's surprise Crazy Quilt. I see he's still snoozing away over there. How we do it, Cinnamon Bear? Well, he's right near the cliff overlooking the root beer ocean. So the thing to do is to close in on him from three sides. Now, Jimmy, you take that side, Judy the other, and I'll walk straight at him. All right. Come on. Isn't it exciting, Jimmy? Shh. Not too loud. You'll wake him up. When we get near enough, one of you can snatch the silver star from under his nose. What's that? Oh, dear. It's one of those military-minded mosquitoes, and he's making right for crazy quilt. Oh, 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 what goes on here? Willikers, he bit Crazy Quilt right on the nose and woke him up. And just when we were about to get our silver star. We'll have to try something else. Hey, you, Crazy Quilt. I'm very busy right now, Cinnamon Bear. I'll speak to you some other time. He's trying to run away. Close in on him, children. Come on, oh, come on, let's go now. Hurry up. Get over this way, get over there. That's it. We got him backed up right on the edge of the cliff. Why? I don't understand. Uh, what does all this mean? You know what it means, Crazy Quilt. We've got you this time. Where's our silver star? A uh, silver star? Uh, what silver star? Don't try to quibble, Crazy Quilt. Hand it over gratefully and you can go your way. Oh, what a terrible mistake you've made. Why, I I've never seen this uh, silver star you're talking about. You must have the wrong party. You have too got it. I can see it even if you are trying to hide it. It's our silver star and we've got to have it to put on top of the Christmas tree. You stole it out of that trunk and you know it. What? Oh, come, 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 come. Do you think I would do such a wicked, wicked thing as steal? Oh. 
You still insist that you didn't take it, Crazy Quilt? I repeat, I have not seen it. Uh, we'll have to scare him. Let's go. Well, scram, you bad dragon. Scatch, go. Oh, 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 how funny. Gara. Boo. Boo. Oh, 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 help, help. Oh, don't ever do that. Oh, he's slipping over the edge of the cliff. He fell into the ocean. They right into the root beer ocean. Quick, we'd better run down so we can head him off when he comes out of the water. Come on. Hurry up, Judy. Come. I'm coming. We get him. He can't escape this time. Dear, he's just coming up on the beach. Oh, 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 oh I'm so unhappy. Oh, such unkind people to say boo to a crazy quilt dragon. Don't you know you should never do that? Why shouldn't we? Well, I'll tell you. Don't ever say boo to a crazy quilt dragon in hopes he'll turn tail and run. There aren't many words that will make him go crazy, but Boo is decidedly one. You can say cheese it or scat if you please, it will certainly bother him none. Now shoe or skidoo, sir, would not be taboo, sir, but booing is just never done. Don't ever say boo to a crazy quill dragon, no, never, not even in fun. Remember, a crazy quilt's colors are fast and are guaranteed never to run. That, that was very pretty, crazy quilt, but you did run. So I guess you aren't as guaranteed as you think. Oh, but I didn't run. I jump. <laughs> Go ahead and laugh. Oh, I suppose I deserve it for giving way to my baser self. But if you only knew how weak I am when something beautiful and shiny attracts me. So when I found the silver star... You mean when you stole it? Well, if you want to put it that way. Oh, I would never have taken it if I'd known how much it meant to you. Uh, may I apologize and ask your forgiveness? You mean you're sorry, Crazy Quilt? Oh, of course, little girl. And you won't ever do it again? Oh, never, never, never. That's fine. Now everything will be hunky-dory if you'll just return the Silver Star to us. Of course. Uh, only... Only what? Only it dropped out of my mouth when I jumped off the cliff. And it's lost in the root beer ocean. <laughs> Well, they've got the Crazy Quill Dragon all right, but they haven't got the Silver Star. It looks like a lot of strange adventures are in store for Judy and Jimmy and the Cinnamon Bear before they retrieve their lost treasure. So let's be sure to listen next time and see what happens. Mm -hmm.